Hello everyone. Continuing uh, discussing the uh, models of oligopoly, let's proceed further. The second model uh, of oligopoly is Edgeworth model. It was given by F. Y. Edgeworth, who was a French economist. What Edgeworth assumed uh, in his case is that uh, he uh, has said that a duopolist will continue to charge the same price. Duopolist will continue to charge the same price with this assumption and uh, uh, with this assumption he has uh, seen he has taken the example of uh, mineral uh, springs okay uh, two mineral springs example was taken by him Edgeworth shows that uh, showed that no determinant equi uh, determinate equilibrium would be achieved in a duopoly further uh, he also assumed uh, that uh, duopolists uh, are uh, the products of duopolists products are perfectly homogeneous the cost conditions of two du of the two duopolists um, need not to be exactly the same but must be similar cost condition needs to be similar cost condition need to be similar edgeworth's model uh, can be understood with the help of the below figure so uh, what we find is that uh, edgeworth model is uh, like a triangle okay like a triangle uh, we have edgeworth's model so here we are seeing the price and here we have the quantity this is the point of origin this is b dash or b1 and this is b so here we have uh, the demand curve of uh, y okay this side we will be seeing the firm y on the left side we will be seeing y and on the right side we will be seeing the firm x okay so uh, the demand curve of both the things uh, both the firms is a uh, demand curve demand curve firm x we have a b and firm y we have a b1 that's the demand curve okay so let's write it here for the necessity of space we have firm uh, the this is the demand curve of uh, x and y respectively the maximum possible quantity that can be produced by each of these firms uh, let's assume that it is here okay this is the maximum possible quantity that each of the firm can be producing in a given situation okay a situation may a firm is se zyada nahi produce kar payegi aisa hamara assumption hai so okay so this is the maximum possible quantity that can be produced by each of the firms okay each of the firms is se zyada nahi produce kar payenge aisa hum log assume kar rahe hain let's uh, give it names of q at q1 okay so max quantity so the max quantity produced by x we have and by y we have so for x it is oq and for y it is oq1 okay uh, 
each of the each wants to produce and sell his entire output okay dono firms ye chahte hai ki unka pura output bik jaye so at this point okay at this point it is possible and this point is if we uh, name it as it is p uh, p1 okay it is p1 so at p1 price so at p1 price the entire output the entire output of both firms can be sold now um, so the price that will be fixed uh, by the firms uh, would be uh, like op1 okay op1 would be the price that would be fixed now if a firm wants to maximize their profits okay if it is assumed that a firm wants to earn maximum profits then uh, it will raise the price to let's say p p here it can raise its price to this particular level so let's use another color for it i'll be using purple for it so it can raise its profits or the price can be raised till this extent so it is p so the price that each or the quantity that each firm can be uh, selling in order to earn max profits okay max profit earning quantity for firm x would be o n for y it is o n 1 okay o n 1 so this is the price uh, this is the output that they can be selling at op price okay at op price if they would be selling this particular quantity each of the producer will get a maximum profit of o n c p so this is the point c and this is the point c1 so uh, in case of firm x uh, it would be having a profit equivalent to uh, this level okay so this is the profit of firm x that which i am shading with green is the profit of firm x so the profit of firm x would be o n c p okay profit of firm x would be o n c p in the same manner the profit of firm y would be the one which is shaded in the lavender color or the light purple color that is the profit of uh, the firm y so the firm y will be earning the profit equivalent to o n 1 c 1 p that is the profit of uh, firm y to start with if two producers share the price op then x and y will uh, be selling on and on1 level of output okay suppose producer x thinks of revising its policy pricing policy that is this firm okay this firm uh, thinks of revising the price policy x will believe that Uh, x will be under the assumption that y's price remains constant okay ab y ki price constant rahegi aisa assumption karke at op okay op hi uski price rahegi aisa uh, y firm is not going to change the price that is the assumption he realizes that if he sets the price as slightly lower than op ओके ये ओ पी से अगर उसने प्राइस कम रखी तो वो ज्यादा बेच सकता है ही कैन सेल हिज एंटायर आउटपुट एंड गेट अ मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट दैट्स व्हाट ही फाइंड्स आउट सो व्हाट ही डज इन दिस केस इज दैट ही सेट्स अ प्राइस अ स्लाइट एट अ स्लाइटली लोअर लेवल एट अ स्लाइटली लोअर लेवल मींस दिस लेवल ओके यहां पे वो अपने प्राइस को सेट करता है एंड ड्यू टू दैट due to setting the prices at a slightly lower level the firm is able to sell his entire profit why because the ones who are going to buy the uh, y firm's product because they have uh, x has reduced its price from p to r 
they shift to x products and they are able to earn a or x is able to earn a higher amount of profit so say x now is able to sell his entire output and get a uh, get a profit equivalent to uh, this level okay ye jo profit hai ye wo kama sakta hai he can earn this amount of profit this is the profit that he can earn so in this case uh, the uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, sustain or to stay in the business what y does is that he also retaliates or he reacts and he reduces his price for the so what happens in this case is y reduces apna price even further than x so when y reduces his price further than x let's say he sets a price at this level okay he sets the price at this level and this is r1 level okay at r1 y is able to sell his entire profit okay ab wo kya kar raha hai ki wo uh, x ke bhi customers ko apni taraf kheech raha hai as a result y will react and if y reacts and reduces his price this price reaction or this cost cutting or price reduction would continue till they both reach a situation wherein they can they can't reduce their price further because they will find it difficult okay this will continue this will continue till both firms both firms realize or arrive at a point okay both firms arrive at a situation arrive at a situation wherein they cannot further reduce the price such a situation uh, is uh, would be uh, gradually what happens is gradually yahan pe prices niche 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 aane lagte hain but kabhi jump nahi karenge prices will not be uh, going upward but they would be going downwards only thus edgewards duopoly solution is one of the perpetual disequilibrium and price will be constantly oscillating between monopoly price and competitive price there is no determinant or and unique equilibrium of duopoly which is suggested uh, uh, which uh, edge was suggest uh, through his duopoly model so in the next uh, video we will be continuing or we will be discussing chamberlin's duopoly model so thank you everyone